we're here with Ryan Q. North and Erica Henderson from Squirrel Girl. You guys, the welcome. Unbeatable the Squirrel unbeatable Girl. Don't she understand. cannot be beaten. Yeah. Squirrel Girl didn't sound as good as unbeatable. True. You guys, I just got here. I'm so excited. Very excited. <laughs> and you guys have a lot going on because yeah. not only do you have the ongoing series, you just came out with an original graphic novel. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Only it three days old. <laughs> it's only just a baby. I know. Just a little, little baby book. Came out last baby Wednesday. book. What was it like working on it? How did, how did that compare and contrast with working on the monthly series? Uh, it was nice. The fun of doing a book like that is uh, you're doing this larger story. And you, when you're doing a monthly comic, you're in this shared universe, which means if we were to, for example, blow up the Earth, that would affect what Spider-Man is doing. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. But in a in a graphic novel, we've got you know six months worth of material in one yep. book. You can, as long as you put the Earth back together in some way at the end, you, you can yeah. blow up. The, not that we blow up the Earth in the book. There's no spoilers. <laughs> well, but you'll have us, to read it to find, to find out. Who Do gets we blow story. up the Earth? Yeah. Who oh. knows? But it lets you tell uh, a story with a larger scope than you can in a monthly comic, which is, I found a lot of fun just to like see how big we can get. Uh, for me, I was doing both at the same time, so oh, it was no. just uh, <laughs> shorter nights and more ordering out. <laughs> that, that's where it changed for me. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to call something out. Oh God. All right, Lorraine, we you say, talk about this. You say <laughs> that Squirrel Girl is beating up the Marvel Universe. Yes. But it's kind of not Squirrel Girl, but also kind of Squirrel Girl. Yes. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the call out here. Next up here. Here's three observations. <laughs> yeah. um, well, because uh, uh, Doreen Green would not normally have cause to beat up the entire Marvel no, universe. No, she's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. but a uh, clone made through mad super science. Oh. The I worst kind of super That's science. The, the, yeah. the mad kind. All the powers and other restraint that could... Uh, <laughs> That could go differently. That yeah. old chestnut. Mm -hmm. ah, see what you uh, there? Yeah, no, we're nuts. Oh, I noticed. <laughs> Marvel is no stranger to the clone game. Yeah, no. We have a whole conspiracy going on right now in Spider-Man. So yes. Yeah. Mm. That guy. <laughs> Up to his old tricks. So you guys have been on Squirrel Girl for how long now? Um, it, it was announced at New York okay. two years ago. Mm -hmm. It came out. January, almost two years ago. So this January will be the anniversary, second year anniversary of our Squirrel Girl, and her 25th anniversary. No as kidding. A yeah. Oh, that's awesome. oh, that's I didn't awesome. realize that. That's why wow. we're doing the issue. No, we, we had the same thing. <laughs> 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 what I have guys, no idea what I'm doing. What have you guys learned in your two years with uh, Doreen? What What is really lots of squirrel facts? Lots of squirrel oh my facts. God. <laughs> Did you ever think you would like have such ownership of this character? Uh, no, that's what's sort of been the fun part of it, is that uh, Marvel hasn't really said no to anything. Mm -hmm. So we get to basically invent this person and tell the stories we want to tell. And uh, that's, been, that's been the best part of it, I think. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, I think like before we started doing Squirrel Girl, I'd never even really considered Marvel too much. I was, I was like, I don't think that I would ever get work there. And I was like, maybe one day I'll get to do a strange tale story yeah. next to like Kate Beaton and then that'll be it and I'll go home. Well, <laughs> and that's so interesting too because I think your style is so integral to that book and what Absolutely. it is and both of your mm -hmm. voices are so prevalent in that work. Were you really just trying to bring your, your style or did you try to pull in some other Marvel influences? Um, I didn't. I didn't really think about it too much. I think it was just, <laughs> it was funny because early on when Will Moss, our editor, mm -hmm. asked me to do the book, he cited a few movie posters I had done mm -hmm. and those were done much more realistically and I was like, I don't know what he's looking for, but based on what I know about this character, let's try this <laughs> and see <laughs> if this works. And it seems to have, so. <laughs> no, the, uh, the, the sketches Erica did originally were just different designs for the characters. Because I had no idea what the book was going to be about. You yeah. just asked, like, can you draw a squirrel girl? And I said, okay. A lady <laughs> squirrel yeah. girl, sure. But they sent those to me, and the, the sketches had such uh, character to them that when I was writing the first outline, I had them up in the other window, so I'd be like, yes, this is this is who I'm writing about right here. Yeah, so it's been very... Uh, they were all over the place. Like, I had no idea. But the, their <laughs> personality was right there. How frequently do you guys communicate? Are you talking every day to work on the book? This is the first time we've ever spoken. This is the first time we've ever spoken. We've Erica, met before. That, that, that was a lie. That was a lie. <laughs> oh, man. No, we, we, we talk all the time, I think. There's yeah. always threads going on, mm -hmm. uh, several threads in parallel for different books. Mm -hmm. and then just like eventually email. someone calls and is like, I don't know what thread this is supposed to be in, but here's what we're talking about here. Yeah, I know. Eventually, like, the five emails at once get condensed into one email. And then there's, like, the Twitter DMs and occasionally Skype. Yeah, uh, I've spent time at your house. Yeah, <laughs> my dog. Good times. Yes, I've had your dog jump on me to wake He's me up in the morning. Very enthusiastic. <laughs> very large dog. Clock, yeah. Right on my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Classic so Chomsky's. Nice. <laughs> yeah. 
So when you guys are working on sort of setting up a page, do you have a lot of freedom or do you kind of outline a lot of jo like visual jokes or do you kind of own that realm? Just like what's the give and take of that? Alan Moore, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. Uh, we've done a couple pages. There's a couple in the OGM where we did uh, Marvel style. Oh, very cool. Where I was like, this is That's a fight awesome. scene. Oh, yeah. Here's where I need to end up. I think yeah. I requested that to be like, hey, yeah. just let's, let's, let's see, see how, how this works. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Uh, but normally I write uh, just panels. So like there's five panels on this page. Here's the dialogue. Here's what's going on. And you've been good about like, this saying, not even saying, just recognizing this doesn't work. I will make it better. Mm -hmm. But a lot of that's times it's just like, there'll be a lot of text in one area mm -hmm. and I think what happens within these this chunk of dialogue will change how characters are feeling. So you have to like mm -hmm. add another panel in there and be like, okay, there's a different story beat happening in this moment. But like, it's not a huge amount of change. It's just no, it's a lot of it's just like little edits to make it a little more cinematic. But I love that you do that because it mm -hmm. makes it a better book. And I feel like the comics is a collaborative medium most mm -hmm. of the time. And uh, when you have a great collaborator, you end up with something that's better than the sum of its parts, better than you could do, better than you thought it could even be when you wrote it. Mm -hmm. And so the, the joy of getting back Erica's pencils is I see these pages and they're better than I imagined when I was writing them. <laughs> That's awesome. That's like the dream. No, it's, it's the That's favorite part. That's the dream part. collaboration. You guys don't just have a great comic book. You have one of the best letter pages <laughs> in comic books. Well, how many letter pages are there? Like they're, what's they're, the they're, come, they're starting to come back pretty, okay. uh, yeah, that's great. pretty big. There's a lot of Marvel alone, but you guys are the best. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the, the gold I'll standard. Yeah. What, what do you put into the letters page that makes it stand out? I mean, it's what we get from the readers. Yeah. We sense all this great stuff. There's all these great pictures of like cosplay, and mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of squirrel biologists who read the comics. <laughs> <Science. laughs> <laughs> squirrel <laughs> biologists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have that market cornered. <laughs> yeah. So we get pictures of their squirrels they know, <laughs> and uh, it's just a it's How just do you a fun know experience. a squirrel? I mean, a squirrel you form a know. relationship with the squirrel. Right. How do you know a dog? There's also people <laughs> who, like, who rescue squirrels, so, you know, like, a lot of them can't be sent back in the wild, so you yeah. just have this pet squirrel. The same yeah. way you would know your dog, you just, oh. this is, you know, your pet squirrel. Super great. Little tippy-toe of their <laughs> yeah. own. Yeah. You know, speaking of the fans and all the people that reach out to you, you guys, I feel like, have been a really important part of reaching a different sort of fan base. Uh, a lot of younger women are really into this book. Was Were you kind of trying to reach that audience, or was that just kind of a something that happened after? I mean, I wanted the book to be uh, inclusive for everyone, because I feel like, I remember uh, sometimes comics can be intimidating mm -hmm. and scary. I'm like, let's make a book that you don't have to know lots to enjoy. Uh, you can just dive in and, and enjoy the comic. And I feel like that kind of open door lets a lot of people through it, which is terrific. Those mm -hmm. people who wouldn't normally be reading comics. I'm, it's a wonderful medium, and I want more people to be reading yeah. it. And I think we were more making a book that we wanted. We didn't know <laughs> what the response was going to be at all Hopefully when it came like out. It. I think yeah. if you make something that you really like, other people respond to it. Like You're not pandering to anyone. You're just mm -hmm. saying, hey, mm -hmm. this is my thing, and I really enjoy it. I hope you like it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I love it too. I mean, I've actually I've seen men dressed up as Squirrel Man, I guess. Oh, so squirrel like Earl. Boy. Squirrel Earl. Earl. <laughs> Pointed to me as you're saying this. Ben, <laughs> specifically Ben no, Morse. Just Where are the like pictures, I've seen ben? men. This is a man. <laughs> For reference, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> you're wondering what all the hubba is about. Yeah. Here it is. Um, oh, but uh, yeah. that's something I love about the book is that it does reach men Thank you. and women <laughs> in case you need a frame of reference. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that's, a, that's I've had a little come up and be like, hey, my dad really likes this book. I'm like, great, I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's comics for dads. <laughs> Dad Where comics. did you guys come up with the computer science angle? Because you lean oh, yeah. heavy into the computer science yeah, angle, um, which I think is great. I'm more interested. <laughs> this one. I'm more interested in computer science than I ever have been in the past. Oh, that's terrific. I'm that's like terrific. so fascinated by it now. Uh, I have a couple degrees in the computer sciences. Well, look at you. Look at me, and wow. I use them to write funny books. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I feel like there's a problem in STEM fields, especially computer science, where a lot of, when I, when I studied computers, my class had 50 people in it, and there were two women. Mm. And that's horrible. <laughs> and there's no reason for that. There's nothing about computers that is intrinsically male. No. So uh, the idea of having a CS major in our book who was female I thought was great, and also like, it's easy for me to write because I know what <laughs> that stuff is. So that's always two reasons for that's, it. That's nice Laziness sheet. and social progression. <laughs> Already all in your head. <laughs> yeah. So as far as where Squirrel Girl is going in the, in the near future, mm -hmm. will we be seeing any interesting big bads in our future? 
Yes. <laughs> And any that you can choose. You heard it here first, uh, folks. There, there will be, be villains in Squirrel Girl. <laughs> Big Actually, time villains. This weekend, we realized we've never had a woman villain. So oh. we've, we've been trying to brainstorm who that should be. Mm -hmm. We found out that we can't use Hell. Uh, not Hellcat. Uh, Black Cat because she's in Hellcat right now. So we were like, oh, man. Oh, but that would be a natural <laughs> pairing but to also put a cat Black against cat a squirrel. Cats yeah. hate squirrels. Yeah. They don't get along. Yeah. No. There's some trouble in paradise Except there. for the occasional really cute gif. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's it's true. Yeah. babies. Well, you guys, I think, expressed some interest in spinning the wheel. Do yeah, what is the wheel? Oh, what, what is yeah. it? Harry, Maybe do we have one time spin? For this? One, one spin? One good spin. All right, come on over We just don't even know what the wheel is. No. You're going to find out. This is how you want to spin? Sure. Whoa. This is how the magic happens. Ooh, wow, good that's spin. a strong spin. The strongest we've had in a while. <laughs> All right, Lorraine, what do we got? Alien, Alien Racer, Racer Cheese! Cheese! Alien oh, Racer Cheese. Cheese! You guys, this is the best game on the wheel. I don't know why it's not just Alien Racer Cheese, and we spin <laughs> it, and then we just say <laughs> Alien Racer Cheese. Maybe we can put one other so there's some guess some to it. Some risk to it. OK, guys. You have so to you're going to give me a number between 1 and 10. Five. I'm going to ask you, <laughs> do we already say five? Five, yeah. Five, great. A uh, number between five and five. We're, he's going to give you a word, and you're going to tell us if that is an alien race within the Marvel Universe or a kind of cheese. We okay. got this. Okay. All right. 100%. So at least we know our Your cheese. Your word yeah. is <laughs> Carillon. How's it spelled? C-A-R-I-L-L-O-N. Carillon. Was a cheese. <laughs> it's See, divided. It seems so easy until you right. get there. Cheese. I'm sorry, that's oh. an alien race. It's actually a planet. It was introduced in Marvel Preview number 15 from 1978. Of course. But thank you for playing. Thank you so much. You guys, check out, uh, check out Squirrel Girl Beats Up the Marvel Universe and Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And stay here. We're going to have really the good. cast of Teen Wolf coming yes. up next. Oh. Stay here at Marvel Live, brought Thanks to you by on, Marvel guys. of Contest yeah. of Champions. Thanks, guys.